welcome to Chase, where we do modest and helpful stuff for you. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a 100% cotton dress with two layers of material, our regular material and our liner. So let's get started. So what we're going to need is our buttons, some pins, our thread, tape measure, scissors, and we may need some heavy duty thread a little bit or some elastic thread or or twine um, we're going to need a t-shirt that fits well our material and our liner so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the shape of the top of our dress out of our liner and we're going to use our top or a t-shirt for our pattern. The first thing that we're going to do is open up the material and we're going to make a fold which is where the middle um, part of the shirt is going to go. Now I want to make my dress a little bit loose but not too loose so I measured around my bust area and I decided that I wanted the all the way around it to be 45 inches. So I just cut out a piece of material so that we can cut out our two panels, front and back, for the top part of our dress. So we're going to use our t-shirt um, for a pattern to measure the lines. And we're going to cut out the front panel first, and then we're going to use the front panel to cut out the back panel. <clears throat> so we want to place the shirt on the edge of this folded line so that this is going to be the front of our of our garment and um, we just want to fold everything in so that we can cut out the shape easily but we're also going to measure from the shoulders we're leaving one inch of seam allowance also as we will be doing for the entire garment. And we're going to measure from the shoulder 20 inches. Because that's um, how long, because that's how long our shirt is gonna be plus the seam allowance. And um, we're gonna be cutting out as we go along as well. So I'm just gonna fold up the t-shirt at 20 and I'm just going to use that as my marker to cut around. We also want to measure the bust. Since I'm doing 45 uh, around the entire garment, I'm going to take a quarter, uh, not 45, 44, 44 inches around the entire garment. I'm going to take out um, 11 inches plus 1 inch of seam allowance. So we're going to be adding 4 inches to the garment. So I'm just going to pull my garment over to the edge here because I know now that I need 3 extra inches and that'll make it easier to cut out. So across the bust we're going to need 12 inches of material. Now we're going to cut out our back panel 
and our back panel is going to have a seam down the middle of it. So we're just going to measure one inch of seam allowance extra. And then we're going to cut out the same pattern as our front piece. So now we have our front and our back and our back panel and we're just going to cut it down the middle. This is where our seam is going to go. So now we're going to measure from our shoulder to the bottom of our material and we want the back of our dress to be 18 inches long. So we're going to leave one inch of seam allowance for the top of the shoulder and one inch for the bottom of our dress, making it 20. So we're just gonna measure uh, one inch in. From the back and that point, which is gonna be in the middle of the back, is gonna be 20. And then on the side, We're going to go one inch less, which is going to make it 19. Now we're going to cut a shape out of the front as well and we want the two sides of the back panel and the sides of the front panel to meet up. So we're going to measure the same 19 at the side but we're going to go higher for the front part. So we're measuring from the shoulder. Nineteen and we want the front we want the front of our our garment to be seventeen inches, so we're going to put one inch extra for seam allowance, making it eighteen. You can also get some tailor chalk and draw out this shape before cutting it, which will make it a lot easier. So now we have our front and our back. And we're just going to use those pieces also to make the front and back of our dress. This is just the lining. So we need to cut out another set of these same shapes out of our other material. I didn't mention earlier um, that we will be using um, three and a half yards of each of the materials um, 
our fabric for our dress and our liner. I'm using one yard right now to cut out the top part of our dress here. So this is the back. And I'm just going to use this liner as an indicator. Our material is folded in half, so your frayed ends to the back well. And our other edge is at the front. We're still going to be cutting this line here, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. But we're just going to cut this out now. So now we have our front and our back. Now it's time to cut out our skirt. Now we're going to take our other um, piece of material and we're also going to cut out the lining in the same shape. But we want, I want my skirt to be from where the waist is on my, on the top of my dress to be 33 and a half inches and I'm going to add two inches for seam allowance making it 35 and a half inches one inch for the top and one inch for the bottom so I'm just going to cut across that line that I folded extra material for sleeves and I'm just going to cut this top line as well and that will be our two panels front and back for our dress Now we're going to take two inches off of our front panel and we're going to cut our back panel down the middle because we need a seam down the back of our dress. So now we have our two panels, front and back, for our skirt part of the dress. Just gonna put that aside and we're just gonna cut out a lining the same dimensions. I did the waist the waist all the way around is 43 inches. I like a lot of gather so I'm just gonna leave it at 43 inches and I'll just cut out the same 43 for the waist and the length 35 and a half inches in our lining material. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut out our sleeves 
and the shape that we want to get looks almost like an ice cream cone at the top. So we're just going to place our material um, from the top, the very tippy top, leaving an inch for the seam allowance because once we sew this, that's, we're going to sew the, the sleeve on the inside of there. And we want it to come all the way to the end here. So we're just going to twist the bottom a little bit because that's going to end up being the shape of our arm. So we just make a mark where our sleeve is going to end and then we're just going to make a sort of diagonal line. Just going down a little bit um, closer to the edge towards the end and I'm just going to make kind of a line here so that I can see where I'm cutting. And we're just going to cut out that shape. Now we have our two sleeves. We're going to do the same thing with our lining material. So we'll just lay out some pieces and we'll just cut out that same shape. So for the front panels of our dress, of the top of our dress, we're just going to cut the neck a little bit lower so that we have enough space. Like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start sewing all of our panels together. The first thing we're going to do is sew the neckline of our material to the neckline of our liner on the front panel. And we're going to do the same thing on the back because we don't want to see a seam around here. So we're going to sew them together right sides facing each other. And um, then we're going to turn that inside out so that we have a perfect neckline. And then we'll start sewing the rest of everything together. Now I'm just going to cut the excess of the hem, very small, and then I'm going to run a zigzag stitch all the way around just to finish it off. So this is how our neckline will look. We'll do the same thing to our back panels.
Now we're going to sew our panels together starting with the shoulders and we're going to sew those together uh, by opening up the sleeves right sides together and we're just going to open them up like this on, on either side this is the front and this is one back panel and we're going to put the seams together and then we're just going to sew across across this line the two shoulders right here and we do that on both sides and when we do that we're going to end up with our sleeves together like so so we don't have any seam showing at all so we'll just zigzag stitch we'll cut off the excess and just sew it down to finish it so nothing comes unraveled later on Okay, so now we're going to sew our sleeves together and then we're going to come back to this. The right side of your material will be facing you. So now we're going to pin our sleeves on to our garment whilst it's opened up still. And um, we're just going to take the middle part of our sleeve right at the top here and we're going to pin that right sides facing each other for the middle point of the sleeve on the top of the dress. Now that we've got one of our sleeves pinned on, we're just going to sew that down onto the garment. So we're just going to place it onto the machine and start sewing. again to finish it all off I'm just gonna cut down the edges and then 
zigzag stitch all the way around. same thing to the other side. Now that we have our sleeve sewn on, we're just going to move on to our skirt part and then we'll come back to this later. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sew the tops of our skirt panels together. So you're going to sew your front and back panel to the front and back panel of your liner just over the top part of it, zigzag stitch. Now we're gonna take some heavy duty thread and we're gonna take a bit more than the length of our skirt. And the length of the waist, a little bit more than the length of the waist. And we're going to use that to make our to make our gathers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a wide zigzag stitch and we're going to sew over the top of the thread, not catching the thread with the needle. And we're gonna go all the way around the waist of the skirt with that. this one as our front panel and what we're going to do is we're going to pull this thread to gather our waist. And we want to pull this gather together to match up with the front part of the vest of the dress. is put the top part of our of our dress down and we can pin the two ends together and then we can make the gathers where we want them to be and then pin the rest and not the ends of the thread so that they don't end up Pulling through. Now we can just even out our gathers 
and sew it down. front of our dress all gathered and put together what we can do now is just even out some of this material and zigzag stitch the edges so that it's all finished so we can just take off some of the excess and make sure everything's flat and straight looks like. So now we're just going to do the same thing on our other skirt panel. Right side facing outward. I'm just going to sew it down with a zigzag stitch. Then we're going to put in our heavy duty thread to create our gathers and then we're going to look to sew it onto the back. Now we're going to turn our dress inside out and we're going to place all our seams together and sew the back of our dress together just a few inches up just so we can put our skirt part in. We want to make sure everything is lined up. And we're just going to pin our back together at the bottom here. And we're just going to take it in about one inch. And we're just going to sew this part down. I'm just going to go up about an inch, a couple of inches, and in one inch. It should be enough for us to sew our skirt down. So now our back is sewn together at the bottom so that we can add our skirt onto it. scraps of material we're going to make two side straps so we're just going to cut two strips of material sew them together and turn them inside out or right side in <laughs> and then we're going to sew them to the sides of our dress and we're just going to sew down the sides of our dress as well and we're just gonna make a nice shape right here that comes to a point. I'm just gonna cut out all 
the edges and then we're going to turn this inside out or right side in. We have our two tie straps. So now it's time to sew down the sides of our dress and put our tie straps in and our pockets. Okay. So I'm just going to pin down the important parts. My tie straps are going to go on the inside. So we've got to pin those on. So we pin our waistband, our waist part, with our tie strap on the inside, and we pin underneath the arm and we pin our pockets the pocket on the inside of the skirt as well right onto the edges um, one fold on each side and then we sew all the way from our arm all the way down to the end of our dress the pockets down first dress is all put together and um, all we have to do now are the finishings on all the seams, the hem at the bottom, the hem around the armholes and the buttons down the back. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take we're gonna make the loops for our button 
on the back of our dress and uh, we're just going to take a long strip of material like this and we're going to sew it down a quarter of an inch all the way down Now we're going to cut off the excess and we're going to try to cut it as close to the seam line as possible. Now we're going to take a needle and thread like we did for our tie straps on the side and we're just going to sew the end and then pull it through. And there you have it. This is gonna be your tie for your button loops. Now I'm just gonna make a little button loop and I'm gonna put it on the one inch in seam allowance line. Um, and then I'm going to just sew down across it. You have to make your loop the right, the size of your button. So you'll just have to check to see if your button can fit through. I'm using very small buttons, so I'm making a very small loop. So those are all our button loops and now we're going to sew another piece of material over the top of our button loops. So I'm just going to fold the top edge of my other piece of material down and I'm going to line it up with the top and then I'm going to sew as best I can along the same line all the way down. what it's going to look like and we're just gonna fold this on the other side and we're gonna we're gonna sew it down so what we're going to do now is we're going to fold um, these two pieces inside uh, all the way down and we're just gonna sew it down right at the edge just to finish it off so all these raw edges are not showing okay as we come to the end you'll notice that this part um, the edges are not um, together because it was already sewn onto the skirt so it would be nice to actually have the buttons and everything done before adding your skirt on. Now we're going to sew these little edges down to the end of our back. So we're just going to follow this line all the way down. Thank you. 
So now I'm just going to put pins in and mark where I'm going to put my buttons. So my buttons in. Now where we have our pins in, we're going to sew in our buttons. So now we have all our buttons in and the last thing we're going to do is our final touches, our finishing on our sleeves and the hem on the bottom of our skirt and then we're done. So now we're just going to hem up the sleeves. I'm just going to fold it over once and stitch over the top of it very close to the edge. Now both our sleeves are hemmed in. Now we're going to do the bottom of our skirt. And the first thing we have to do is cut off the excess material. Um, determine the length of the skirt that you want and how much of a hem you want as well. So now I'm doing a one inch uh, hem on the bottom. So we're just going to fold the material in one and then fold it again. So there you have it, your finished gathered dress. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it and you want to see more, like and subscribe to our channel. And links to other social media will be in the description box below. You can also check us out on Etsy. This dress and others will be available.